the tank. Probably the worst named archetype in Ashes of Creation, but one that will have the most desire in a party. A tank's job is to control the fight, help the party mitigate incoming damage, and dictate who is getting hit. These plate-wielding beasts can take a massive amount of punishment from enemies, standing tall to keep their party alive. Ashes of Creation has a unique take on classes. While the core tank archetype will be similar to what you might imagine, a traditional warrior-like class in any fantasy RPG, wielding a shield and a sword, standing tall and leading the parties in the battle, the true class in Ashes of Creation is defined by a combination of the primary and secondary archetypes which can be unlocked as you progress in the game. This system gives players 8 potential options for each class, and for the tank these combinations include the Argent being the Tank Bard, the Guardian being the Tank Tank, the Keeper being the Tank Summoner, the Knight being the Tank Fighter, the Knight Shield being the Tank Rogue, the Paladin being the Tank Cleric, the Spell Shield being the Tank Mage, and the Warden being the Tank Ranger. The primary archetype you pick at character creation is a permanent choice. The secondary archetype unlocked through progression Progression around level 25 will augment your primary archetype. It changes how the abilities react, their appearance, and really kind of just flavors them up a bit. However, the secondary archetype does not provide new skills. It's all about the augments, allowing you to adapt your playstyle to your needs. Remember that everything we know about the tank and the other archetypes is still very much a work in progress. Ashes of Creation is going into its Alpha 2 state, and Trumpet is going to continue to gather player feedback and iterate upon that feedback all the way up until launch whenever that may be, so some things that we hear now may not even exist a week into Alpha 2 testing. Most abilities will be unlocked through the skill tree, where careful selection is key. You won't have a hundred different abilities in your spellbook, and Trepid wants you to make thoughtful choices to cater to your playstyle. As skill points are awarded, you will be able to spec into the tree to unlock new abilities or upgrade existing ones. The tank is that archetype that we know the least about compared to the other five Alpha 2 ready archetypes, as we never got a second pass update through monthly live streams, so we haven't seen the skill tree, and we've only seen gameplay around some of the abilities. These abilities include Absorption Field, throw a rallying banner to a target location that spawns an absorption field upon impact. Allies within gain temporary health equal to 20% of your maximum health. Aegis creates a protective dome around the caster for 15 seconds, transferring 20% of all damage received by the targets within the area to the tank. Charge charges forward in the direction you're facing. Enemies in your path take 50% physical damage and become staggered. Fortify consumes all courage to reduce damage taken for 10 seconds, scaling up to 40% reduction based on a courage spent. Grapple, take aim and hurl a chained javelin at your target, damaging the first target it contacts and immediately pulling them to the caster. The target suffers a tapering snare for 3 seconds, but this ability cannot be used on bosses. Grit, enter a defensive stance reducing incoming physical damage by an additional 15% while outgoing damage is reduced by 25%. Threat generation is also increased by 50%. Inciting strikes, slashes twice in an area generating 400% threat. Indomitable spirit, increases heal Healing received in max health by 30% for 15 seconds. Protect intercepts attacks on a nearby ally, redirecting 30% of the damage to you. Reflect doubles your block mitigation, reflecting the next attack back to the attacker. Rush of Courage grants 100 courage when cast. Shake it off instantly restores 50% of damage taken in the past 4 seconds, capped at 30% max HP. Shield Assault lunges forward, dealing 125% physical damage and applying stagger to enemies in front of you. Slam deals 200 100% physical damage to target in front of you, generating 300% threat. Taunt. Taunts the target, generating threat equal to twice your maximum health. Tremoring Bellow. Shouts to snare enemies, followed by a ground stomp that deals 150% physical damage. Wall. Summons a barrier at target location, blocking movement and projectiles. Some of these abilities can then be upgraded if you invest more skill points into them, offering different benefits such as increased damage, reduced cooldowns, and much more. For the tank, they have a class resource called Courage. You can build up courage through various abilities, and when you build it up, it increases your physical mitigation per point up to 10%, and you can also spend this courage on various abilities as well to get different effects. Tanks obviously have a more demanding role compared to those firing arrows and casting spells in the background. That's why you can never find a damn tank when you need one in any MMO you play. 
They're also one that's less desired to play because, well, people always blame the tanks and the healers. Their primary job is obviously to maintain aggro on enemies, keeping them focused on the tank rather than the party. Aggro, otherwise known as threat in Ashes of Creation, is generated based on damage, healing, and specific abilities. Intrepid is also working on making the tank more balanced in PvP, so you may see aggro play into effect there as well in a different way than we're used to. In PvE, aggro will be based on the threat table, and while in PvP, aggro could potentially force target switching to the tank, which will be tested heavily during Alpha 2. While weapons aren't locked into specific classes in Ashes of Creation, as a tank, you'll probably want to equip a shield. The shield provides a static defense value, offering block chances based on the direction of attacks. Active blocking will also be available for shield users, consuming stamina when triggered. How exactly active blocking will impact tank gameplay is still being fine-tuned and we really don't know the full extent of. Well, personally, the tank isn't my go-to archetype in any MMO. What we've seen in Ashes of Creation so far looks well put together. Obviously, as I've said earlier, we haven't seen the most updated tank compared to the Mage, the Ranger, the Bard, or any of those other archetype showcases so far. So this one will have the biggest reveal come Alpha 2. But as the only tank archetype at launch, much like the Cleric as a healer, Intrepid must ensure that it's done right, since the tank will be in very high demand for party setups.